Today marks one week since tornadoes hit Northeast Ohio. At the height of the storm, 470,000 people were without power, and one week later, hundreds are still waiting for the lights to turn back on. Meantime, those who have power restored are left with empty refrigerators and a lot of mess. Everything. I lost everything. My, my freezer and my refrigerators are empty. Make me want to cry. Makes me want to cry. Mary Keith says she threw away hundreds of dollars worth of groceries. Now, some insurance policies, they will cover the cost of food due to power outages, but you're going to have to check your policy. First Energy's president did hold a press conference yesterday saying they had crews working 16-hour shifts to try and get power restored. But let's get one final look at the outage map this morning. As of 506 here, there are still more than 1,000 customers without power. The majority of these numbers are right here in Cuyahoga County and in rural Gianga County. And we're learning more about the damage left behind in the storms just one week ago today. The National Weather Service has confirmed a fifth tornado touched down in Northeast Ohio in Bay Village. So for more on that, let's turn to Matt. Yeah, we're up to five now, Isabel. And this was the initial tornado that they did the survey on, the one that went from Avon to Rocky River. Remember, it was on the ground for almost 12 miles. It was an EF1. You see the time there. That was the initial storm. And the Weather Service went in and they said, well, wait, there's kind of a damage area that kind of splits off of this. Because initially they were looking at this one, right? That went right through Bay Village. But then they started to look at this area here and they said, well, there's damage coming in from the northwest and that kind of goes down to the southeast a little bit. So what they've done, they've confirmed that there was another tornado within that line that came in. So remember the line was rolling in from west to east coming off the lake, right? And what that line did, that line had a tornado with it, but there was a different cell within that line, which can often happen. Remember, these lines aren't completely uniform, and that cell produced that tornado that went uh, down towards the 254 area. So here's the latest on it. This is the second tornado which in the Bay Village area, which makes it five total. There's your time. It only lasted for two minutes. EF1, though, winds were at 110. The path, at least the, the width of it, 250 yards. That just... That's huge. That blows my mind. The size of a football field. Remember, 100 yards, a little bit more as you uh, include the sidelines. 1.75 miles on the ground. So we're now up to five for this event. I think they're done with that in terms of surveying. We're looking at more straight line wind damage than anything else. That area's jog in Lake County uh, certainly has been a rough go of it. But we're up to five now in terms of this, guys. And uh, I'll tell you, what a rough uh, set of days. And thankfully, we're on the backside of this. Dave? Yeah, no question. All right, Matt, thank you.